Is it not, not to show anybody really, I just took them to a, uh, in case I get rid of the things, you know. I mean, there's a part of these Spanish pictures, I mean, they're fucking oh, nonsense. Is that the one? I think that's, that's about thing. flamenco. That's still at that's home, so we have an African Right. But you know, you've got Spanish sketches in Spain and dancing and flamenco yeah. and, and the lines that they yeah. trace. Yeah. And if you were to make a film and, and cross all the frames over, you'd see, yeah. you'd see all those lines. Yeah. 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 And it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that's the thing about Glastonbury. I mean, it's, yeah. it's fucking nonsense. <laughs> It's fucking nonsense. But they're very tactile and there's yeah. a lot to them and there's and also, a you few know, years of work. There, you can't really get a sense of it. Of course you can't, no. I mean, a very twee scene. Yeah, it was in a hotel in the desert. But, you know, I mean, I'm not so keen on that. It was about, about it. But there's a lot of stuff about it about reggae and dance halls and, and jazz. And, uh, I mean, I hope I'm not disappointed. It's a self portrait no, right. But these are kind of sea paintings yeah, I do. Yeah. Just try and create a movement, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a very personal thing. Yeah, there's a, there's a sea painting, yeah. but you can see the movement in the in camp, you know, in yeah. the, and I'll do it now and then, just so people go, oh, What's that supposed to be? And like, well, you know, it's a, you know, it's about Miles Davis, but you wouldn't know. And is it these are these sketches of Spain paintings? Yeah. I mean, it's literally fucking hundreds. These are about sound system. Oh, yeah, it's fucking stupid. I want to give you one. I, says to, I want to give you one. I says to Lee, I'm going to give. I'll give Paul a paint anyway. No, I've got a sound for because he's thinking I've got it. I'm, I want to sell it. But I want to give you a painting if that's all right. Oh, come on. I mean, if you don't yeah. like it, no, I don't, I don't really stick it under a bed. No, I think you know. But they work, and it, you know, in as much as uh, I mean, that I'll probably throw away. There's landscapes. That's nonsense. Pro um, that's one of them pictures I painted. It was probably the one I saw. But if you get close, you know, you see that there's yeah. anything in the sea, but it's straight lines. It exactly. never is, you know, yeah. is it? And, you know, it's just... Uh... Well, there's a huge amount of work that goes into them. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. yeah. A couple of years. No, but seriously, a few years, yeah. We've been drying. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, that's a start of some that don't look anything like it. They probably should have left them like that. Then let's try and, you know, if the idea in art is to provoke thoughts, mm -hmm. you're not trying to provoke, provoke some thought that didn't exist previously, mm -hmm. somebody looks like well then, you know, the, the raw sack test, sick as it, people get given. You know, they're always in black and white. Mm -hmm. What does that remind you of? Really, what thoughts are that is that inspiring? Yeah. So I was trying to work a series of paintings around raw sack <coughs> tests, which didn't fucking work at all. But I'm, keep, I'm keeping at it, you know. I suppose you've got to stick to one colour. I was trying to do multicolour things. Right. And yeah, yeah, it's about, it becomes much more difficult to... Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, I mean, that's just bollocks, really. It's just chucking paint and folding pictures in half. All the guns. That's why it doesn't look like a cock and that look over it, so <laughs> unless you black paint chucked down and on a canvas folded in half. But it does, doesn't it? it looks, yeah. That's definitely a woman's pelvis, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But of course I that's ruined like that. I ruined that by painting more. Is it the old lady and the young woman? Yeah, 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 yeah. I painted over that, but I mean I don't know, dude, there's literally fucking hundreds and hundreds. It, it is nothing to what I do. So how many do you how you estimate you've got? Oh, a few hundreds, hundreds. I'll give a, I'll give a lot away, and which I like. I like my idea. You know, yeah. but I'm going to definitely give you. I'm going to pull a picture out for you, even though he says no. No, no. I'll, I'll tell him after he shows. Oh yeah, no, I won't mention it. Uh, I'll we'll keep this. Oh, this is off the record. Just you know what? <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anything more right. interesting. No, like, there's one. Do you? I'll give you one on him then. I'm not sure which ones are at home still because he took some away. But it was all about sound systems and, yeah. you know, yeah, playing yeah, play yeah, League yeah. in Studio One yeah, stuff. I and, can uh, see that. Like that. You got it? Oh, got a nice yeah. one. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's best. Uh, <coughs> and, uh, oh, man, it's fucking it. it looks like I just chucked paints around for years. It doesn't matter how they come out, but it, it really does. Yeah. But some of these are huge. So, and on a wall, it's just, they, they, they work for me. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the abstract element of it. So for me, are possibly the two forms of music that probably are the most abstract <coughs> are jazz and, and uh, dark. Yeah, jazz and dark. Yeah. Yeah. It's just no coincidence, it's isn't no it? Coincidence. Yeah, but those, what those, are the, those are the kind of... Probably the three is most, uh, you know, most uh, very collaborative as well. You know, it's people not knowing what's happening and, and putting something on top. Mm. And I like the idea of art in you know, abstract art mm. in that sense of, of not 
not, you know, not predetermined. And, and well, I've got a Prince Jammy album. Prince Jammy against yeah. versus some that I can't remember. Uh, I've got great records. Right. And that's got to be early 80s, late 70s, yeah, early, yeah, 80s, yeah. early 80s. And that's, <coughs> I can, I can yeah. see that. I put Job on really, really yeah. late in the game, really yeah. late, and throw some paint around to it. And if it doesn't work, I just paint over it. I mean, it has that kind of feel to yeah. it, it's just this kind of. I, keep, I come back to the same piece of music till I finish the painting. So I start at the same place every time, and uh, sometimes I put it up and that's just his it, so I paint over it, it's covered. You see, there's a lot of black in the backgrounds, that's painted over it, that's because I painted over shit, yeah. Because white doesn't always cover it, you know. So, so, I mean, how do you feel? I mean, obviously, it's a different territory now for you, because you're, you're used to being judged on the musical side of it, and yeah. suddenly you're going to be exposed to the. Oh, no, yeah, it'd be interesting. Like no, it'd, it'd be scary, you know. A bit nervous. I don't understand somebody who, who you know, really full time painters, you know, for the last 30 years, and there's me, this 52 year old upstart. But you have been painting all your life? I have been painting, yeah. yeah. I've been painting, you know, representation, and the, the kind of wind's gone out of that for me. Right. It's, a, it's a little bit like, I'm, not, I'm also not so keen on. I love Beethoven, I love Chopin, I love Mozart, I really love their music. I really care about performing. Yeah. All I'll play saxophone, but you know, if I was getting bassoon, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't be so keen on sitting in an orchestra and just a discipline of its draftsmanship yet again. Can you play the note like it's written, like the guy's conducting, the, the emotion he wants from this, mm -hmm. the crescendo, the glissando, the. You know, that's, I wouldn't be so keen on that either. Mm -hmm. So, but all I love the music. And I love, you know, I love some of the pre Ravelot painting, and I love, you know, you know, you know kind of that's always just a you know, There's emotion in it, you know. Look, Quite painters. Yeah. I don't think I'm a quiet painter. I just think I'm an artist. I just uh, it's very self-indulgent. You know. It's to satisfy me. I suppose. I suppose the question is who who's that would judge you know, whether people think that or not, whether you think that or not. Other people yeah, of course. Yeah. Own... And you, you know what? I'm happy to. Well, what, I mean, when I was a kid, I was a bit worried about. Right. Could you, you know, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I, did, I hadn't learned then. How valuable critique is because your friends tell you what you're doing. Of course it is. So it was a great as a sound, you know, your friends tell you the truth. No. Your friends tell you what they know you want to hear. Exactly. Your family tell you what they think you want to hear. Critics tell you what they think, not what you want to hear. You might doesn't want to hear. Right, it? It? Yeah? Doesn't mean it's right, does it? Doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean they're right, but it means that you get the opportunity to look at yourself from a slightly different angle, just step out of the way a little bit and, and give it some consideration. And and I do, and uh, I kind of welcome critique now. And uh, as a kid, when we were first making records, I don't know if it was about more worried about a record not selling because we were so skinny, mm -hmm. you know, and we were just trying to get ahead. And it, it put the music in there. I'm a back foot, you know, like, mm -hmm. like, yeah. so what's more important than making the money or making the music? And right. he was making money, yeah. he was about getting on our feet, you know. And, uh, and of course, if you look after the art, everything else looks after yeah. itself, so. Yeah. I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe not take every, every, every criticism to heart, but certainly give it, give it a bit, give it some thought, some mm -hmm. time, and if you can, if there's anything you can get from it, you know. But it's not going to stop you, is it? Because you're no, still no, carrying on doing it. No, I'm still going to do it, yeah, but m maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do it. I, I know the, the criticism about a music we made in the past, and we've had lots of success. So the criticism, that's, you have to, you have to, yeah. it's serious stuff. I know that's helped me. I know it's helped me. It, well, it's, at least it's helped me put art first and come on second. And it's, it's very easy, you know, as a, as a young artist mm -hmm. who's, who's having some success mm -hmm. to let the commerce take over and ruin whatever. But if there was anything special that you possibly had to force it away, so you, you're not used you for cutting the bone. But I think once you've had that commercial success, it gives you the space to. To try that and stuff. Yeah, that's, oh, that's so incredibly lucky. Because if someone's been batting away for years oh, to get that commercial oh, success. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I, I know many artists and, and I buy artists' work. That's what I do, I buy painting. I buy paintings by contemporary artists always. I, might, I buy old life photos and prints and limited edition Picasso stuff. I've got Rembrandt stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Good. yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hope nobody finds out where I live. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. I wake up tied up with gaffer tape, and I. <laughs> if I get past the dogs. 
The eight dogs. Oh, we've got ten. We've got ten now. <laughs> I've got to combine another couple of others over. Uh, no, you know, I buy contemporary artists always. Have. And for many years, I would buy them. Um, I'd go and get a show of paintings by a young artist to use as record covers. You know, you'd have your album and then you correspond in four or five singles and 12 inch versions. And, you know, never put graphics on it. So you can, yeah, you can go back in tech. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's been beautiful. So you've actually sorted yeah, out your got artists. artists and made them very art, put their art in people's living rooms, lounges, and shelves all around the world. I'm the basis of album covers made to look at. Yeah. So, you, do you know what I mean? We always commissioning these yeah. concept yeah. That's, that's It's gone. Although, I love is this, is this thing that I love. Is it, I've, I've always had invented it, but I've been told I didn't. But all good ideas, you know, it's, they're the obvious ones. Like, I thought I'd invented it, but no, apparently not. I like the idea. You show your record on vinyl. Big 12 inch covers, even your single, stick them all on that. And then once you bought that as a code, you can go get your download, your yeah. download. So you can have, have you can have both for the same price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly the same price, and it might just put record stores back into business. Yeah. Or have we have we gone past that point? Have we gone past that point? I think you've got point got where people are going to be asked. A bit of just you know, I think my son is good too. He's like, he looks like he's gone out. Now. If you were DJ, Yvonne will be all right. That's is that legitimate? Yeah. So it's because yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going and to. also the whole thing about you know let's just start me off the point again now, but it's still interesting anyway. The fact that you know when we listen to an album, we listen to it in sequential order. Yeah. Now they're, oh. just, they're like magpies and just take from. Oh. Well, what's great Jay about that is my son is so he's playing a track from Julian Marvel from 1970. It's fourteen. You go. Incredible. Have you heard this? And he, would, he possibly would never have done that. You know, ten years. I can ago. discover much more. They don't have to be at somebody's house who's got a record. Right. I mean, even when a DJ is playing, you often can't get a name of the tune. Yeah. Some DJs, you ask it, what's a tune? And you know where you've got Next that one's one? on, not talking to the DJ. It's got a video game, Skate. And it's got Joy Division on there, yeah. Julia Marvel. Wow. All these different tracks, you go, fair play. Isn't that cool as well, Joy Division? A long time. Yeah. 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 You know what? We're not in control of this. You know who he is, you're a kid. 14 yeah. years old, or so. It's great. But the fact, you know, he's, he likes stuff that I like. and. Yeah. I thought iPads might revive album art a little bit, the digital download. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe there's something it's in that. Do that stay tactile? Just do You can't roll a split. You can roll a split on it. <laughs> you can, I don't smoke anymore. You can. You can do a lot of coke on them. I've done that <laughs> <laughs> more than once. We make people laugh. Oh, you can't do that on an iPad. But you can, honestly. It's good to be in class. It's good, you know. Yeah. Well, on that note, I think we were right home. Oh, nice one, man. <laughs> oh, you know, it's always, before you go, it's always a pleasure talking to my mate, Paul Green, who I first met when we were making films, and I was writing soundtracks for movies yeah. and, and stuff. And it's just moved on and got progressively better, and now you're a publishing magnate, and uh, we'll you're a tiny Roland of King's Eve. <laughs> and Moser, I do hope so. I'm cutting that out. Oh, OK. I don't mean you can cut it, I mean. He's been in prison. He has, has not yeah. Oh, you can be the Dennis uh, Desmond. Desmond. Dennis Desmond. Desmond. Um, Oz Magazine, De Desmond. Uh, no, that's a promotion on Dennis yeah, Desmond. Yeah, no, I don't know. God, OK. The ones who went to try. Yeah, yeah the Oz Magazine. Whichever way I you like him. In prison. You don't like him, OK. <laughs> they were great, but the Oz guys. Look. How about Harold Evans at times? Oh, the old, the old school. Oh, they were the old school, yeah. They had a nice one. Have you still got that great suit? Yeah. The incredible yeah. print of Oz, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got to get on and get one, mate. Got it. Lovely, man. Beautiful, man. Perfect suit. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right there in the place down in Port Bell Road. And off the off, peg, right? Off the peg, yeah. but I mean, he did. He did um, oh, we cut it for you. Well, he, he, I went in, he had a look, and then basically he did a bit of alteration there for me. He's an old mod, he's about late 50s. Hey, guys. And what he said was that the cut of the trouser is, he said, forget all this really skinny stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was this, this was the cut of the trousers there. Do you know what I mean? So it's not skin tight, it's just yeah. a little bit of movement yeah. in it. Yeah. Can I have a bit of movement? Yeah. <laughs> and a lovely uh, um, gun metal song. Yeah. Might have gun metal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I must say, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, I must have a hundred grams worth of silver. Look, it does. Every time we do tours, I have a few silver to write and photographs and all that nonsense. You know, and it all used to get paid for. If I got to give them all, it's like a lot. Or Huntsman and all that. Oh, I come in. 
and beautiful. And I got a bit fat, I couldn't wear them. Yeah, so Some of them were a bit so big. I lost 65 pounds. And I've drunk Guinness for a while. 74 kilos. And I was 110 kilos. 110 kilos. And, you know, I went to the doctors and. Uh, for about four. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. How did you manage to do it? You raise your metabolism. It's a diet called the body trim diet. But I mean, even now, that's it. Just a no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It just. It, I bought it for 150 dollars, you know, and somebody said that's the diet to you. And what you do, you raise your metabolism, so you eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. Right. In between you have a protein drink, you know, right. bodybuilders drink. Mm. You know, they don't want carbs, so they drink. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, called yeah. true whey. It's like a milkshake, you know, use it, do it with milk. A few months it's absolutely great, not that bad. You don't get hungry, you have one day off a week, where if you wish you can eat carbs. So you don't eat carbs? Though? When well, you know, when well I'm at the weight I want to be now, so now I eat just normal. Just no, but when you were doing it, so breakfast, yeah. lunch, and you could have fried eggs if you wanted, and yeah, yeah, sausages yeah. and bacon. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of basically a veggie, you know. Yeah. Pretty much, I'm, and the basic if I was a cake, I had to catch a chicken. Got one every one, once every six months, I'd be fucking lucky. <laughs> and if you want to die of a heart attack, you know, I'm not, but what, how anybody else could catch him, how I could catch him, that caveman thing, you know, it works for me. So I don't eat a great deal of meat. If I go to somebody's have dinner, dinner something, I could, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be crazy. I'll, 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 you know. mm -hmm. and, um, How long have you been sort of semi veg? I'm kind of 99 percent veg, you know. Oh, I just, I was looking in salt, somebody at a party, you know. And they cook dinner and go, yeah, this is pigeon from Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm preferred to say. How long have you been? Oh, a few years, three, oh. four years, oh, five okay. years. I've, I've done it before, and then I've lapsed and got very fat. Mm. I think I've got to be demotivated. As well, you know, fucking television sucking your soul out. Mm. I said to Andrew, you know Andrew Dubber? Andrew? No. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Great guy, but professor at the BCU, and he's oh, always doing that. Oh, he does it here, you know, I've got Really, New Zealand, yeah, I'll, I'll introduce you to him. Great man to talk to. Mm. Really, he'd give you, give you, you, man, he'd give give you a good few man. pages. Really cool guy. And uh, we're talking about television, and I don't want to say television. And I can remember thinking, Nothing. I'm watch open. I watch I play it, but need to see. I can try. I can watch television now. He he kind of got me on my feet with it. Really. Well, what the fuck am I doing? Man? I'm sitting there. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm not watching it. I'm just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very passive. Isn't it? I'm both playing music. I'm, you know, this this happened to me for a while. Don't and so it suddenly my life came back, and I just start. I put music on. Play music or paint or playing four bands or. A, it's not like you sit around a lot. No. <laughs> no, no. It's not like you're seven days.